The first piece of glue that I would like to give you is this phrase of every once in a while. Now in Spanish, that would be de vez en cuando. So it's quite a lot to remember. We have de vez en cuando. De vez en cuando. Now to help you remember this, what I'd like you to do is pause and close your eyes and to actually spell out the phrase, but do it mentally as though you were writing it on a blackboard inside your mind. So once again, we have the phrase de vez en cuando. Close your eyes now and try to do that. All right, assuming you've paused and done that, let's now try to use it. To say I go in Spanish is boy, boy. It sounds like the English word boy because the V in Spanish tends to carry a strong B sound. So boy means I go. And the word for there is allí, allí. How would you say I go there? Boy, allí. Now what we want to do is say, I go there every once in a while. How would you do that? Voy allí de vez en cuando. To say on holidays, in Spanish would be en vacaciones. Looks very similar to the word vacation in English. In Spanish holidays is plural, en vacaciones. How would you say, every once in a while, I go there on holidays? De vez en cuando voy allí en vacaciones. To say I speak in Spanish is hablo, hablo. And to say with her would be con ella, con ella. How would you say I speak with her? Hablo con ella. Now say I speak with her every once in a while. Hablo con ella de vez en cuando. To express I see in Spanish is veo, veo. To say I see her would be la veo. The la stands for her. So literally her I see, la veo. Now how would you say I see her every once in a while. La veo de vez en cuando. To say the same thing but I see him would be lo veo. The lo stands for him. Lo veo. How would you say I see him every once in a while? Lo veo de vez en cuando. To express around here would be por aquí, por aquí. How would you say, I see him around here? Lo veo por aquí. What about, I see her around here? La veo por aquí. Now try this. I see her around here every once in a while. La veo por aquí de vez en cuando. The second piece of glue that I'd like to give you today is the phrase as soon as. This in Spanish is tan pronto como. Tan pronto como. Again, Pause, close your eyes, and visualize writing that out. The phrase is tan pronto como. All right, let's try to use it. The word possible in Spanish is posible, posible. How would you say as soon as possible? Tan pronto como posible. How do you say, I want? 
quiero. Now, what's the verb for to do it? Hacerlo. How would you say, I want to do it? Quiero hacerlo. Now let's use our glue. How would you say, I want to do it as soon as possible? Quiero hacerlo tan pronto como posible. What is I'm going to in Spanish? Voy a. Now try to say, I'm going to do it as soon as possible. Voy a hacerlo tan pronto como posible. How do you say I need in Spanish? Necesito. And what's the phrase to be there? Estar allí. How would you say, I need to be there? Necesito estar allí. Now try to say, I need to be there as soon as possible. Necesito estar allí tan pronto como posible. What's the verb to arrive? Llegar. How would you say, I need to arrive there as soon as possible? Necesito llegar allí tan pronto como posible. How do you say, I have to? Tengo que. And what's the verb to speak? Hablar. How would you say to speak with him? Hablar con él. I have to speak with him. Tengo que hablar con él. What about I have to speak with him as soon as possible? Tengo que hablar con él tan pronto como posible. The word for urgent in Spanish is urgente. Urgente. Notice that we have a strong H sound over this part. Urgente. To say it's urgent would be es urgente. Now how would you say I have to speak with him As soon as possible, it's urgent. Tengo que hablar con él tan pronto como posible. Es urgente. Here's the third piece of glue that I'd like to give you. It's the phrase, just in case. In Spanish, that is, por si Acaso. Por si acaso. Again, pause, close your eyes, and spell it out visually in your mind. Por si acaso. All right, let's use it. What's the verb to wait? Esperar. How would you say, I'm going to wait? Voy a esperar. What's the word for here? Aquí. How would you say, I'm going to wait here? Voy a esperar aquí. Now try this. I'm going to wait here just in case. Voy a esperar aquí. Por si acaso. Once again, how do you say I need? Necesito. If we want to express he needs or she needs, what we do is change the end from an O to an A. So we get the sound of 
necesita, necesita. This means both he needs and she needs. Necesita. To express he needs me, it would be me necesita. Me necesita. He needs me. How would you say, I'm going to wait here just in case he needs me? Voy a esperar aquí por si acaso me necesita. What's the word for later? Más tarde. How would you say, I'm going to wait here just in case she needs me later? Voy a esperar aquí por si acaso me necesita más tarde. Once again, what's the verb to talk? Hablar. And how would you say with me? Conmigo. Conmigo. Now say to talk with me. Hablar conmigo. How would you say she needs to talk with me? Necesita hablar conmigo. Just in case she needs to talk with me. How would you say that? Por si acaso, necesita hablar conmigo. Now try this. I'm going to wait here just in case she needs to talk with me. Voy a esperar aquí por si acaso necesita hablar conmigo. Do you remember how to say you should in Spanish? Deberías. Deberías. And what's the verb to call? Llamar. Now, if we want to express to call him or to call her, it would be llamarle. Here we have hooked on the pronoun of le, which means to him or to her. Llamarle. How would you say you should call her? Deberías llamarle. What's the word for tonight? Esta noche. Now say, you should call her tonight. Deberías llamarle esta noche. What about, you should call her tonight just in case she needs to talk. Deberías llamarle esta noche por si acaso necesita hablar. How do you say I can't in Spanish? No puedo. And what about I can't do it? No puedo hacerlo. How would you say just in case I can't do it later? Por si acaso, no puedo hacerlo más tarde. The fourth piece of glue that I'd like to give you is the phrase, I just. An example would be, I just want to say thank you for everything. Now this I just in Spanish is expressed with solo or solamente. We're going to stick with solo just because it's shorter and easier to remember. First of all, how do you say I want? Quiero. Now say I just want. Solo quiero. What's the verb to say or to tell? 
Desir. So how would you express, I just want to say? Solo quiero decir. What's the word for thank you in Spanish? Gracias. How would you say, I just want to say thank you? Solo quiero decir gracias. Whenever you want to say thank you for something, the phrase is always gracias por. Gracias por. What's the word for everything in Spanish? Todo. How would you say thanks for everything? Gracias por todo. Now try this. I just want to say thanks for everything. Solo quiero decir gracias por todo. To express with you in Spanish is contigo. Contigo. How would you say, I just want to talk with you? Solo quiero hablar contigo. The verb to know in Spanish is saber. Saber. And the word for the truth is la verdad. La verdad. How would you say, I just want to know the truth? Solo quiero saber la verdad. What about, I just want to be with you? Solo quiero estar contigo. Once again, what's the verb to say or to tell? Decir. If we want to express to tell you, it would be decirte. The te stands for you and it gets hooked on to the end of the full verb. Decirte. Now try this. I just want to tell you that I can't be here tomorrow. How would you say that? Solo quiero decirte que no puedo estar aquí mañana. Let's run a little drill. How do you say every once in a while? De vez en cuando. As soon as. Tan pronto como. Just in case. Por si acaso. And I just. Solo or solamente. How would you say, I go there every once in a while? Voy allí de vez en cuando. I have to speak with him as soon as possible. Tengo que hablar con él tan pronto como posible. I'm going to wait here just in case he needs me. Voy a esperar aquí por si acaso me necesita. I just want to talk with you. Solo quiero hablar contigo. 